This film presents aims and setup of field scale Taifa Paludi culture in Northeast Germany. Let me share our experiences of the first year with you. As you see, our pilot site is actually like an island. It is a red island in a drained landscape. We raised the water level on around 8 hectares within the whole drain polder to implement the Paludi cultural trial. The site is located in the river valley of the Teterua Pene, which is mainly used for grazing cattle. We want to show that it is possible to establish a taifa stand ready to harvest. If we are able to prove that agricultural activities on wet soils work out, we can solve this conflict wet is good for the climate but bad for agriculture. Then it will be wet is good for the climate and for agriculture. With Taifa, we can achieve a triple climate benefit. First, reducing CO2 emissions from peat oxidation. Second, using Taifa biomass for replacing fossil resources. And third, carbon capture and long-term carbon storage in building and insulation material. This field represents for the moment the largest cultivated cattle site. But actually our biggest challenge is the water management. Still we try to build a red island in a drained landscape. We have the drain polder and from this polder we separated a small part of 10 hectares. The site is located near to the river, to the river of the Tetoa Pena. We have the river here and the water flowing and we have dikes on two sides along the river and on the short side and we constructed two further dikes to keep the water in the field. On this part river water can be pumped into the taifa field. Here you can see the first flooding. On this corner we have an adjustable outflow, there we can regulate the water level. Now the site was ready for the growth of wetland plants. This graph shows the water levels of our wet island during the first year. As you can see, the water levels fluctuated around surface level. We monitor the area regularly. We measure the water levels with data logger and manual devices. We monitor the nutrient concentrations in water, soil and biomass. We also monitor the heights and the diameter of the taifa plants growing here. Because for the farmer having a rich taifa harvest is essential. I want to introduce Hans Vogt to you, the landowner and pioneer farmer. He accompanied the ups and downs of the project from the first day on. Hans Vogt, Landwirt, Moor, Klima, Naturschutzbauer. Es gibt eine relativ hohe Erwartungshaltung von unserer Seite als Landwirte, eine Nische zur Landnutzung zu finden. Es gibt die Nachfrage auf dem Markt zu diesem Rohstoff, ob Bauindustrie, Gärtnerei oder wo auch immer. Die Resonanz hier vor Ort in dem, im Stadtrat, beim Bürgermeister und die Reflexion auf dieses Versuchsfeld und dessen Auswirkungen in der Zukunft sind sehr positiv. Da gibt es auch hohe Erwartungshaltung und zum Teil möchte ich die auch teilen. In September 2019, 50,000 seedlings were planted by forest planting machines. With the planting, we faced several challenges. First, the planting time was too late in the year. Early frost in October hampered root formation and stand establishment. The loose plants were washed out of the soil by first flooding and high winter water levels. To fill up the gaps, we spread typha seeds with the drone the next spring. So by the end of the first growing season, you can see a quite well established taifa field. But how would Hans Vogt evaluate the area after the first season? Ich meine nicht völlig im Sinne des Projekts, 
weil äh, konkurrierende äh, Pflanzen doch einen erheblichen Teil der Nährstoffe in Anspruch nehmen. Ich sehe im Moment keine Chance, in einer effektiven Art und Weise diesen Fremdbewuchs zum Beispiel zu entfernen. The current weed problem is mainly caused by insufficient water levels during the first summer. But constant inundation in the next season will allow typha plants to outcompete the weed. Another problem that we still face are the birds that eat the plant the typha. Not these birds, of course. Those we use to scare the swans and geese. So how about the future of paludiculture with typha? Wenn das klappt, der Rohstoff, der mit dieser Pflanze gewonnen werden kann, der ist gefragt. Der wird sich vermarkten lassen und der Knackpunkt wird sein, die Produktionskosten. Kann man davon wenigstens eine schwarze Null erreichen, wenn man diesen Rohstoff herstellt und vermarktet? Kein Landwirt kann in Wirklichkeit etwas machen, was sich nicht trägt. Es sei denn, die Gesellschaft sagt, wir wollen im Interesse des Klimaschutzes, im Interesse des Herausfilterns von Nährstoffen aus unserem Wasser. Wir fassen in das Portemonnaie der Gesellschaft und geben etwas in das Portemonnaie des Landwirts. Wenn das geschieht, verbessern sich die Chancen. Wir müssen wir schauen, wie es weitergeht. Wir haben ja noch zwei Jahre Zeit bis zum Ende des Projekts. If we leave the island scale in future, effort and cost will be reduced. For now, this red island allows us to gather experience and collect valuable knowledge for upscaling paludiculture.